So in this example, we're going to write a very simple encryption and decryption program that'll let us work at the Linux command line. So we'll actually be able to use this as part of a pipe to do different things. So in my main program, I'm going to have some character. And I'm going to read that character. Or actually, I'm going to read standard input character by character would be a more accurate way to say it until I see an end of file character. And then once I do that, I'm going to print it. And actually, I think I should just do a put C here. Actually, I need to say standard out there. And when I'm done, I'm going to print a new line file. OK, so what is this easy encrypt going to do? It's going to be a very simple Caesar cipher. Where we take a character and we're going to return C plus one. So we're just shifting everything by one. So if I compile this, I'm going to compile this to a file to so I'm going to make this a little bigger. I'm going to compile this to an executable called encrypt. And I've got all sorts of bugs. Well, I put the parentheses in the wrong place here. So it should be there. Actually, I was missing a parentheses. That actually could be what most of these are. So I have two declarations for easy. It's actually going to be both. So let me put that there. I think that should take care of it. So now if I run this, Actually, let's echo test one, two, three. And I'm going to send that to Easy Encrypt. Actually, it's just called Encrypt. And notice it shifted those. And you can see with the numbers, it shifted them all by one. So, what about decrypting? Well, I could change that to a subtraction and then compile it to decrypt. So now if then I pipe this through, actually it's not interesting to say that if I echo UFTU exclamation point two, three, four, and I pipe that through decrypt, So we get some interesting stuff there. That was not expected. So let's try this. Let's see if we take that and then pipe that back through decrypt. OK, that's a lot better. So how come when we, oh, for some reason I did A dot out there. I'm not sure why I did that. That should be one, two, three or 234. So yeah, if I pass that through decrypt, it'll give me back what I thought. Okay, so it turns out I was asking it to do something that it didn't, that wasn't what I wanted it to do. Okay, so hopefully you can see now we can encrypt and decrypt messages. So we could pass something through, we could even take a file like I could, if I wanted to, I could cat that C file and pass that through encrypt. And there it is. And you'll notice we get a bunch of junk. Um, if I write that to test case dot text, and then if I cat test case and pipe that through decrypt, notice there's my file back. Okay. So this is a really uh, cool, simple way to do some encryption. And, and for your project, you're actually going to do some more complicated encryption. You're not going to be able to do it quite as easily 
character by character by like this. Uh, this is mostly to give you the idea of the structure of how this is going to work inside Linux. Now, it should bother you though that this we're changing what it does based on what we're what, how we then we can compile it. So a better way to do that is to use a symbolic constant. And I'm going to say if def decrypt, I'm going to define op to be subtraction. And then else define op to be addition. And again, those are just characters, but that's the character that will show up in my code. So now when I compile, op will either be minus or plus, depending on what's declared. So then I can compile this again. For some reason, I did that in all caps. And then let me do it with decrypt, but I'm going to, at the command line here, I'm going to define. So now I've rebuilt those. And let's see if my case works. I'll, I'll cat the C file again. And you'll notice it works because if I cat it through, if I encrypt it and then decrypt it, it works. And of course, an even better solution there would be to write a, a make file. So before we do that, let me put some notes here at the top just uh, for your information. Um, this is how you can compile and run it. But you should be thinking by now, how can I save myself time? And this is an ideal case for a make file. So we're going to build encrypt and decrypt. And to build encrypt, I need easycrypt.c. And I'm going to compile. into a, a, a program called encrypt. And then for decrypt, I'm going to compile with decrypt defined, and that's going to write to a file called decrypt. And I'll do my typical clean, where I say clean is going to remove dash f, all the O files, or an exe if I run it, whoops, no, dot o, dot exe, dot out. It'll remove encrypt, it'll remove decrypt, and it'll also remove backup files. I'll actually test your program in a similar way where I do this make file, I make clean and then make, and then I can run your, I should be able to run your code. So let's test this. Actually, let's make clean first. I misspelled it. So that removes everything. And then if I make, and let's run my test again. And that worked perfectly. So I'll add this as a comment to the C file, because that's just another way to do an example. I guess we don't really need this student stuff, right? So I'll delete that. I think that makes it a little cleaner. OK, so hopefully uh, this makes sense. Your project will be similar uh, depending on what. Well, I guess it's to say depending on what semester and what class, your project may be similar to, to this, at least as far as its structure. It'll be up to you to figure out how to actually do the encryption algorithm that's pointed out.